I brought someone to see you. Look at her, Anna. So Anna has a little brother named Spin, and they're like seven weeks, I think, tomorrow. So all your prayers, we rescued them when they were super young, and, um, and it was amazing. It was a miracle. So happy, happy Tuesday, everybody. So I'm sending you so much love, and I'm so glad we're all here. So we're going to continue on a meditation uh, for the spine. And this one's going to be on the Ida, so it's going to be on the feminine energy that twines around the Shishunya. And we are going to um, be using this meditation to really prepare us for the Scorpio full moon on Thursday. What we're doing is um, opening up the heart, opening up the heart, opening up the mind um, to allow us to see the beauty in ending, the beauty of ending. That's what the Scorpio moon's going to um, bring us and i'll talk more about that um we'll do some of that plus we're going to really focus on the nodal shift on the tower of light tomorrow so the tower of light will be live at 6 30 and then on thursday on the day night of the full moon i'm going to do another moon circle so it'll be for the super full moon in scorpio and what entails in that we'll do ritual guided meditation um um, we'll talk about the moon. Um, if you know your chart, I'll talk about where it affects you so you get personal readings. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Mar Marty. And good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, girls. Um, and everybody gets a personal tarot reading in that. So that's on Thursday. Um, I'll put it in the comments so that if you want to get a Zoom link and, and hook up, it'll all be so perfect. So my theme for today is... You can't see the forest because of the tree, you know? Can't see the forest because of the tree. This is this energetic that we have when we are so focused on one thing, you know, and in one of my spiritual groups that I'm with, I said, you know, I feel like sometimes my nose is pressed up against the tree and, and God kind of backs me up and then there's all the forest, right? So... This Sunday, somebody sent me this video that was very informative, that was very good, but it was very triggering. And here I had the forest, right? Making Sunday dinner, going for an evening trail walk, connecting to God, and all of a sudden, my focus was just on this one thing that I felt was wrong and that was hurting and that was going to affect the entire world, you know? And... And I could not see my life. I couldn't see God. So one of the things, you know, people will say drop it or let it go. I feel like one of the best terms in that is to offer it. So when I felt like that, I offer it to Divine Ma. I offer it to her. So then it's like, I can be in that space again, the forest where you have this opinion and you have this opinion and we're doing this and we are working together to be the forest, right? Not to be the tree. And I think especially, it's always going on. It's always going on. But especially with this COVID-19, but it's always going on with movie stars and politics and religion. You know, anything we want we can Google it and get all the reasons why it's so good. And we can Google it and get all the reasons it's so bad, right? You know, like even if you think about be a vegan and then the paleo guys right next to it and they will go head to head and they're, they've got all the facts why this one doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So this is something Yogi Bhajan talked about. So information is moving so fast. It's moving so fast. And anyone can write anything or say anything. And we do come from a culture where we believed, you know, when it was in a book. So hundreds of years ago to get a book, oh my God. And it was so valued and you really believed what was in writing. So this is old karma. Even though that you could lie then, it took a while for information to spread, right? And it took a while to, to maybe debate that. Because, you know, most people didn't even know it exists. But now in an instant, 
this information is available, this information is available, and it's moving very fast, moving very fast, the way we can communicate in a vast way. And this is why we do Kundalini Yoga, so that we can be uplifted, we can be open, and we can focus our attention on God. God is the doer. The main thing, so when you wonder about the chants, if you're new to Kundalini, so yoga uses Sanskrit, okay? And what we chant mostly, there is some Sanskrit, but what we chant mostly in Kundalini Yoga is called Guru Mukhi. And it means from the mouth of the Guru. And of course, you know the Guru is you. So here's how it happened. They had these 10 Sikhs and they're like the bus. They're the Guru. They were like making all these um, wonderful steps towards God and this is how you do it and they're instructing and leading people. And then the last Sikh, Guru Gobind Singh says, he, the, the authority of God is now in the mantra. So when you utter the words, you are immediately connected to the Guru inside of you and the Guru in the sky, right? God, the divine life. And now you are in direct communication and you are on this path to awaken. One of the things, so, so that's the, the evolution of the mantra. That's why we chant mantra. We're going to chant a very, and listen to a very specific mantra today. The other thing about that is that when we, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, so Guru Nanak said this in the Japji. So Japji is like the big, it's like a song. A lot of the great teachings like the Bhagavad Gita, all of that is a song. They're not very long. So like you can chant the whole um, Japji in about 22 minutes. Most of our chants come from that writing. So one of the things Guru Nanak says over and over and over is God is the doer. God is the doer, right? And when we really know that, then every great thing, this class is not being taught by me. God is doing it. And if some of you love it, you love God. And if some of you hate it, you're not so thrilled with what he offered you today. I am the vessel of service. That doesn't mean I just, it doesn't matter what I do. It matters more now what I do because I'm opening myself up to God. And that's what we're doing with this very deep meditation on the Itta. To know that the best part of you is when you agree with life and you lay down your burden and you let God do what he's doing for you. There's another word in the Japji that I really love and it translates into agreeing. So a lot of times in life we'll say, you need to accept what's happening. When you change that word to agree, and some of the translations say accept, and some say agree, I think there's something magical about agree. Because there's a lightness, there's, a, there's just something brighter about it. And it doesn't mean, it also means I don't accept it. I agree, I agree that COVID-19 is happening. I agree that people have different opinions. I agree that, you know, I pissed my daughter off. I agree to that. Do I like it? No, but I agree and I wholeheartedly offer it to divine love. And then I do the next indicated. I clean the house. I be of service. I help somebody else. You know, I'm there for you. Um, all of that. I keep doing that. And I know that whatever is challenging or whatever is great is in the hands of divine love and it will work out. So that's what we're doing. And so we're gonna work with this mantra today, Had, 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 Gobinde, Mukande, Udarde, Aparde, Hariyang, Kariyang, Nirname, Akame. Because Had means God, right? And when we chant God, 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 we're getting ourselves in that force of generating, organizing, delivering, and destroying. And then the aspects go binde, mukande, udarde, aparde, hariyang, kariyang, nirname, akame. Those bring us into the aspects that we are and God is, the dance of being liberated and sustained and being creating and destroying things that work, don't work and enlighten ourselves and um, be desireless and, and nameless, that we so, this is when we are enlightened. 
when we so disappear that we, in every particle of our body, mind and soul, become no be God. The reason we don't do that is we don't trust the divine love. So that's why we do Kundalini Yoga, to work upon our trust muscles, to trust ourselves as children of God, and to know that even our flaws, like sometimes, you know, oh my God, I can't believe I did that again, or whatever your thing is, we all do that, right? Offer it to God. You know, offer it to God. I'm such a judger, or offer it to God. I'm, I'm such a cheese addict. <laughs> offer it, right? Let And put it in the hands of God, and, and really trust, I'm going to do the next indicated thing, but when God is ready to help me take my steely little grasp off of it, then it will happen, and only then. So let's get busy. Let's tune in. Rub your hands together. This is going to be really, really good class. I'm just really excited. Inhale deep. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale deeply. Exhale. <sighs> and do a sigh really loud if you can. And especially if you're nervous about someone hearing you, offer that to God. <laughs> Inhale deep. Bring your thumbs into your sternum. Roll your shoulders back. Let us chant Om Namo Guru Dev Namo to tune us in. Inhale. Om mantra vibrating in your body, mind, and soul. Exhale. Awesome. Come into easy pose now. And we are going to do, what are we going to do? We are going to do Sufi grind. Hands on your knees. Inhale your heart forward. Exhale as it comes back. Inhale out. Exhale back. Inhale out, exhale back. Moving the body, bringing yourself this amazing gift of yoga, of breath. 
where did all my hada hadas go? Shoot, shoot. Mm. Just this. Breathe. right here to help me, my beautiful husband. <sighs> Move. All right, now come to stillness and take it the other way. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. And on the inhale, think sat nam. Sat nam. Sat nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Inhale to stable stillness. And feel how you can feel that spiral still moving. And in this spinal series, we really want to as you can feel the spiral of life, the spiral of the movement you just did, the spiral, spiral of creation, really bring all your awareness now into the center of your spine, into that shushunya, this one place inside of you that's a column of emptiness. It's like the nerves and the ida and pagala around it but this one stream of light and emptiness exists. Sometimes you can feel it in a specific part of the spine. So really just go there and be still. Take a deep inhale and exhale ah, now focus your energy on your shoulders inhale the shoulders up exhale down so inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth Third eye, 
breath of fire bring light and openness that you can back out of that tree and see all the trees of your life, all the forests now, all the options, all the love, all the challenges, all the opportunity. Breathe into it. anything that it's hard to agree with in your life to God. Dump all your burdens so you can agree. Inhale, bring your torso up. And I'm a little crooked. Hang on one second. I think it's this. There we go. Sorry. Hi, everybody. Oh, I got something on my head, too. All right. Let's go into frog. Come onto your toes. Have your heels together. Heart forward. Okay. Let me move this a little over. Sorry, you guys. I'm putting some camera stuff. All right. Let's do our frogs. Inhale here. Sat. Nam. Sat. Nam. Sat. Nam. Sat. Nam. Sat, nam, 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 sat, nam. 
Sat, no. Sat, no. Sat, no. Last one. Sat, no. Roll up. Shake out the whole body. Shake your face. Shake your back, your chest, your arms. Shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Bounce. Good job. Good job. This is just really bugging me. Why is it so crooked? All right. Stretch pose. Come on to your back. Lengthen out. Press your low back to the earth. Bring your navel to the spine. Roll your shoulders up. Tuck the chin into the thyroid. Bring your heels together. Reach for your feet. Bring them up. Red the fire. conjuncting even at one point with Neptune in Pisces. This is, this is like, sometimes our, our intuition feels like these, these cloudy dreams, this murky water. But when we stay with it in the stability of Kundalini Yoga, that imagination is sort of like this gateway, or maybe it's a key, and it unlocks intuition. Because you dare to imagine, then all of a sudden intuition opens up. And those two m 
magical components entwined together to give your intention in life better alignment with God and likelihood for it to happen. All right, so we're sitting in easy pose. I want you to raise your left arm, and I'm going to mirror so you don't have to wonder. Your left arm out to the side, you know, so it's kind of at 60 degrees, up about 60 degrees angle, and then the wrist is going to relax, and the left hand is hanging limp, limp, limply. <laughs> now, pump your right hand, so you're going to take your right hand out to the side, and I need to back you up a little so you can see this, okay? So this hand's like this, and then this arm's like this, the palm is facing forward, okay? And you're going to pump it into your heart, okay? You're going to take that hand and pump the right hand and forearm in and out from the heart center. Moving from the elbow, the palm faces the chest, so when it's out, it faces you. When it comes in, it faces the chest. You're pumping. Now, you're going to make a circle with your mouth and breathe through the mouth like a cannon fire. The breath should come, the breath should come all the way from the first chakra, so it's like... It's like the whole chakra system is bringing up the itta, the pangala, flowing through the chakras and the shunya, bringing up the kundalini. And this, even though it's coming out, is going to start to make this fire come up into your head. And you'll see. So you're going to go like this, hand out, close your eyes, cannon breath. And it's a blowout when that hand comes to your heart. Keep up.
about the hands, close your eyes, just feel. Feel the effects of this amazing Kriya we're doing. In the center of this set in meditation is a Kriya itself. It's called the, the Kamal Lakshmi Kriya. So you want to sit with your hands in lotus, which means you're going to touch the thumb, touch the pinky, touch the bottoms of your hands, and you want to bring that right in front of your heart center. Close your eyes and concentrate on your forehead, not the third eye, the whole forehead, as though the forehead is a screen. And you're going to mentally write on your forehead, HUD HUD WA HE GURU. On your forehead with a mental pen pencil, imagine on the forehead written, HUD HUD WA HE GURU. So again, on your forehead is written, God, God, the ecstasy of knowing you is my life. God, God, the ecstasy of this life with you is the greatest gift. Imagine on your forehead, H-A-R, H-A-R, Wahe Guru. Now imagine the huge lotus flower. Imagine a huge lotus flower right in front of your heart with Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, in the center. Now imagine a huge lotus flower right in front of your heart with Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, in the center. So as you have this in your hands, imagine right out in front of you a bigger lotus that's so big it can hold the goddess Lakshmi. There are two large, huge white elephants. On either side of her, garlanding her, strobing her with rose petals and spraying her with nectar water. Imagine Lakshmi and the elephants. And you're holding this lotus at your heart. And across your forehead is Had, Had, Wahe Guru. Hold this visualization. vision of you sitting like you are with a lotus at your heart and three feet in front of you is a huge lotus with Lakshmi standing in it, two huge white elephants spraying her with the nectar water and rose petals and begin to chant what is on your forehead, Had, Had, Wa, He. Guru, Had, Had, Wa, He, Guru, Had, Had, Wa, He, Guru. Read it off your forehead. Had, Had, Wa, He, Guru. Had, Had, Wa, He, Guru. Had, Had, Wa, He. Guru, Had, Had, Wa, He, 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 Guru. 
Now inhale deep. And exhale. Now put all of your concentration on your third eye. Put all of your concentration on your third eye point and send out a beam of light. I'm going to be striking the gong and every strike of the gong, I want you to pulse out another beam of light from each stroke of the gong, pulsing out another beam of light from your third eye. I am so 
so grateful for all that I have. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am so blessed. I am so blessed.
take a deep breath and sigh. Ah. Inhale and wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrist and your ankles. Inhale, stretch over your head. Exhale, hug your knees into your heart. Roll left and right. Rub the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. Rock up and down a few times and come to seated. to if it feels right to make a donation do that 
know that we're here always for you. So tomorrow, uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow, Mahanra Singh is in the morning. We have Tower of Light at night. We have the Moon Circle. If you want the uh, the Zoom for that, text me. I'll tomorrow put it in the comments. Tomorrow morning is mellow and meaningful. Mellow and meaningful? We've never had it so good. Mellow and meaningful. We've he never says had he's so teaching good. mellow and meaningful. We've never had it so good, Kundalini, at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Um, and also keep in mind, starting next Tuesday at 8 o'clock, we're going to have Yoga Nidra with Reiki and sound healing with our beautiful Tracy. So it's like at 8 o'clock, you can just go to sleep, you know, and be loved. Oh, I love you. Hearts to you too. Hearts. Oh, I love you guys so much. Have the best, best day. I love you, Marnie. Oh my God, Satnam, this is, I'm so glad you're here. Marnie is amazing. She was in our training like three or four times ago. She lives in Hawaii. She does amazing things online, amazing sound healings. And, and like she's doing, I don't know if you already did, but she does, the, she's doing like an online retreat. She's awesome. We love you, Marnie. Thank you for being here, Kathleen. Mwah. Love to all, peace to all, light to all. Satnam.